Hey everybody, this is Ross. Um, in today's video, I'm doing something pretty important for the fig trees, uh, which is making sure that everything has a label. If not, relabeling it, uh, but also keeping track, doing an inventory of all the varieties that I have. And uh, this comes in handy quite a bit for someone who is collecting and trialing and trying to find uh, the best varieties that exist for your particular climate, it's just so, so important to have everything labeled, to know what it is. Um, I don't just do this for the figs, I do it for all the fruit trees. And at some point here, I will make a list of everything else that's not a fig tree. Um, but for today, I'm gonna do a list of all the figs. And uh, I like to keep track of not just the variety name. So I'll write down the first fig here will be Smith. And then I'll write down the, uh, the size of the pot, which is a, like a seven or a 10 gallon pot here. And I'll do this for all the grafts. I'll do this for the rootstock that they're on. So I know what rootstock they're on. Um, ideally, I think it's good to keep track of the age of the tree. That's definitely something that you could consider uh, keeping track of. Uh, we've done other ex like just massive amounts of, of, uh, of data collection in the past. And last year we tried those cards with the variety name and all the details on them. And I couldn't keep track of every single variety, uh, but I made notes throughout the season. So what I like to do throughout the season is at least make notes of vigor, productivity, uh, obviously the flavor. Um, other various notes, maybe the tree didn't do so well this particular year, maybe something happened to it, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Just some, some specific note to make it known to me and to you guys who like to look at my spreadsheet, um, what it is that went wrong, if anything. And that way you can have some sort of indication like, this tree right here, this is not a fig, but this is my um, Morris Niagara Mulberry. And I have a couple nodes here. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six nodes that uh, broke off because of me covering them. And uh, therefore the productivity should be lower because I broke off six nodes. The nodes that I broke off would have had a lot of fruit on them. So. And that's where the fruit forms is on those notes. So uh, it's an important point to make if in fact you are keeping track of pretty important data. I have some trees that did take some cold damage, some persimmons, actually a couple fig trees in the ground. Um, so this is just something that I do every year, making sure everything's labeled, everything is accounted for. And uh, I think you guys, even though, you know, Maybe a lot of you aren't accountants and this is not what you do. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think just as a general uh, practice, this is such a great idea for a lot of us that are doing collecting of any kind. Um, maybe you want to trade, maybe you want to sell, et cetera, et cetera. So that's about it for this, guys. I think those are mainly the, the important points I wanted to make. And I want to thank you guys out there for watching this one and sticking with me. and. Uh, Check out our blog, figboss.com. We'll see you guys for tomorrow's video, okay? And uh, stay safe out there. Take care, everyone.